What is up guys, Techlore here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to increase battery life, speed up, and optimize your jailbroken Apple device. The very first thing you should do is click on the screen or in the description and follow my other video showing how to remove junk files and increase the storage in your device which also improves battery life. If you are not jailbroken, click on the screen or in the description to view the same video but for non-jailbroken devices. First, open up Cydia, and you're going to remove any Cydia tweaks you do not use. Tweaks can use a lot of resources in the background and waste a lot of battery life. Most notably, Winterboard and having a lot of activator gestures plays a huge role in battery life, so make sure you don't use Winterboard and use as few activator gestures as possible. Now we're going to install multiple Cydia tweaks. Each of these tweaks can dramatically increase the battery life and make your device perform much faster. These are all from the Big Boss default repo except for one, so all you have to do is search for these tweaks. The first tweak is No Tracking Plus. No Tracking Plus will disable automatic tracking and logging of your information from apps such as Facebook. This will increase privacy as well as reduce background tasks on your phone. The second tweak is Bat Saver. B-A-T-T-S-A-V-E-R. Bat Saver turns off certain radio signals in your device when you turn off your phone and then re-enable them periodically to check for texts. This tweak claims to double your battery life. The third tweak is no live clock. Apple introduced the moving alarm icon in iOS 7, but this uses background resources at all times. This tweak will refresh the app icon only when you go home so it does not update all the time. The fourth tweak is disable parallax effect. Disable parallax effect completely removes the motion on your lock screen and within apps and saves a great deal of battery life. The fifth tweak is VOIP Remover. This stops apps like Facebook and Skype from abusing the VOIP string, which is a background task. The very last tweak is to install iCleaner Pro. Add this repo to Cydia, which I'll leave in the description as well, and then search for iCleaner. iCleaner is a very powerful tool, and we're going to use it to remove launch demons. Make sure it's iCleaner Pro. Install and then confirm. Now, it's going to take a while to download all these tweaks. Once it's done, respring your device. Once you respring your device, we need to adjust a few settings for some of the tweaks you just installed. So open up settings, and go to No Tracking Plus, and make sure No Tracking Plus is enabled. And then go down to VOIP Remover, and make sure it is on for all three of these. BatSaver is not in settings and is actually an application on your home page. BatSaver is a very complex tweak so I'm going to leave a video here on the screen and in the description showing how to adjust all the settings in BatSaver and save the most battery life. iCleaner is another application on the home page. Open up iCleaner, click on the plus button, and then click on launch demons. Click on each and every daemon and confirm that these are daemons that you want to remove and have no desire to keep. If you do not want a setting, just uncheck it. Once you're done checking them, press apply and then press yes to reboot your device. Keep in mind this does not delete your launch daemons, it only disables them. You can always re-enable these daemons if you want to restore them iCleaner has very basic functionality when it comes to launch demons. You can remove many more launch demons and increase more battery life in my other video here on the screen and in the description. Once you are done with these tweaks, open up your settings again, and now we're going to disable some settings. Feel free to leave anything you want enabled, but these settings will offer the best battery life. Click on Notifications and remove any notifications here that you do not want. Then go to General, Spotlight, and disable everything here on this list. Then go back and go to background app refresh and make sure background app refresh is off. Then go to date and time and make sure set automatically is off. Then go down to profiles and make sure you delete all your profiles. Next go back and go to wallpaper 
choose a new wallpaper, and make sure you do not have a dynamic wallpaper. Dynamic wallpapers use a much more battery life than stills. Now go back to privacy, location services, and make sure to only have things enabled that you need enabled, such as maps or find my friends. Then go back, go to advertising, and make sure limit ad tracking is enabled. Lastly, go to mail, and make sure fetch new data is off. Once you're done with these settings, go into your notification center and disable as many widgets as needed. By pressing edit, and deleting any widget that you do not need. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and share this video if this helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to check out my other videos.